The vinyl gate kit includes everything needed to build one vinyl gate, the width of a standard walk gate. Begin by measuring the width of the gate opening. Subtract one inch to account for the latch and one inch for the hinge. Next, subtract a half inch to accommodate the thickness of the side walls of the uprights. This is the length you'll be cutting the top and bottom rails. Divide the length by two, giving you the midpoint of the rail. In this case, 17 and one half inches. In order to achieve equal baluster spacing, the midpoint must fall either in the middle of a picket or between two pickets. Measure for each possibility to see which provides the best baluster spacing. Begin by marking the midpoint measurement in the middle of two pickets. Then mark the end point of the measurement. The rails will be inserted into the uprights. So we have to account for the depth of the upright minus three and three quarter inches. Subtract three and three quarter inches to locate how much space there would be between the upright and the end baluster. In this case, we would only have a half inch gap. Next, try marking the midpoint in the middle of a baluster. Mark the end point of this measurement and subtract three and three quarter inches. Now we have a much more desirable three inch spacing between the end balusters and posts. Mark the cut points at each end and transfer these measurements to the other rail. Remove the aluminum insert from the first rail. Measure to cut length and cut. Now cut the rail to length. And insert the aluminum insert. Repeat for the second rail. Next, cut two inches off the balusters for the correct height. If you're installing square balusters, mark and cut two inches off the end of each baluster. Square balusters will sit flush against the aluminum insert when installed. If installing colonial style balusters, as we are in this application, remove one inch from each end of each baluster. This will not only keep the decorative portion of the balusters centered vertically in the gate, but it will also allow them to set flush on the aluminum insert. Prepare to assemble the gate by placing the components on a non-abrasive surface to avoid scratching. Important! Before assembling the gate, slide the aluminum U-channels in the uprights down so there is room to install the upright caps later. Begin assembly by inserting the balusters into the bottom rail, followed by the top rail. Next, insert the rails into the first upright. Followed by the second upright. Before screwing, adjust and square the gate by measuring from corner to corner. To locate the screw points for the gate corners, cut out the templates from the vinyl gates assembly instructions. There are two to be used in opposite corners of the gate. Mark the position for the screws on each corner. Pre-drill 11 64th inch holes at each corner. Then drive in the screws at each of the four corners. Next, flip over the gate and repeat the procedure. Mark the corners, pre-drill, and screw. Now, position the gate between the railing posts using leveling blocks to cut the correct height to hold the gate level. In our case, we're using extra crush blocks and secure with a clamp. Locate the top hinge. The top of the hinge should be in line with the bottom of the top rail. Mark the center point of the hinge. 
extend the line from the upright to the post. Next, locate the position of the bottom hinge. The bottom of the hinge should be in line with the top of the bottom rail. Now, remove the gate. Each part of the hinge assembly has a center mark to help with locating the mounting points. Position the L-shaped hinge mount on the post, aligned with the center mark. Insert two screws in each side of the hinge mount. Repeat the procedure to attach the bottom hinge mount. Next, attach the hinge mounts to the gate upright in the same way. You will have to pre-drill 5 32nd inch holes before screwing into the gate. Now, place the gate in position leaving a 1 inch gap between the gate and the post. Place the hinge over the hinge mounts and hand tighten a nut onto each stud. Repeat the process for the bottom hinge. Check the gate's level and adjust if needed while tightening the nuts. Once all the nuts are tightened, remove the leveling blocks from the gate so it may swing freely. Next, position the latch on the post and secure with four screws. Finally, align the latch arm. Pre-drill 5 32nd inch holes and secure with four screws. Be sure to test out the locking mechanism to be sure it is working properly. 